Welcome back to Retrobytes. Let's take a look at our pickups from February. We didn't buy too many things. Uh, a few of these items are for videos, and a few uh, bought just because they look like a good deal on eBay. So let's dig in and see what we got. First up here, um, an eBay listing that I just had to buy uh, when I saw it. I was looking for uh, heat sinks for uh, Pentium processors. I came across this listing. When I went and looked at the full description, looks like it also includes the CPU. What? Yeah, sure enough, it came with the CPU. So I paid the price of a heatsink, got a CPU. Yeah, some of the pins are bent. I can straighten those out. So uh, let's find out what this CPU is here. Pentium, 150 megahertz. Not bad. Not bad at all. Up next here, we got something that I actually had ordered back in January, early January. It never arrived. Actually ended up arriving um, in February. It took three weeks or a little more maybe to ship, but uh, yeah, it's a compact flash to IDE adapter. Up next here, a uh, GPU that I had ordered. I don't have many good PCI video cards, uh, so I went in, ahead and ordered this uh, Radeon 7000. It was cheap, it was like $9. Look how it's, uh, look how it's discolored up in the top left corner there. Here's a package from the same seller that we got the 2GB RAM kit uh, for the IBM server. This is the uh, heat sinks that I was looking for for Pentium Pros. Uh, Pentium Pro heat sinks are not easy to find on eBay, and when you do find them, they're not cheap. So I was happy to, happy that Frank could pull these out for, uh, for me and ship them out. And we can get back to that server and uh, put Linux on it like I'd wanted to try to run Minecraft. <laughs> that should be interesting. Thank you, Frank. All right, next here, um, something that was already featured in a video in the last uh, IBM laptop video I did. I I was missing this uh, power brick. These things are these things are worth their weight in gold. So hard to find. Uh, I was lucky that I found a listing for four of them. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to these. All right, last up here, something that I uh, I was happy arrived in time for uh, the February pickups video. Uh, these must be the 15,000 RPM uh, SCSI hard drives that I had ordered. Oh, I'm excited about these. Thank you guys for choosing the SCSI hard drives. You have great taste. I applaud you. Yeah, these these are beautiful. These are beautiful. IBM Ultrastar 15,000 RPM. Oh my goodness. Well, all right, that does it for February's pickups. Not too many items this month, but still managed to spend $115. Not too bad. As per usual, if you guys are interested in supporting Retrobytes, you can always send me your junk. Um, check out the Patreon page uh, for information on how to do that. Uh, before I leave you today, I wanted to give you a little present. Uh, so here is the delightful sound of one of the IBM Ultrastar hard drives spinning up to 15,000 RPM.